Hey everyone, Two Angry Frogs here, and this is our guide to normal and heroic difficulties for Olgrax the Devourer, the first raid boss in Nirobar Palace. We're left at the start of the fight, and in Phase 1, Olgrax alternates between Stalker's Webbing and Carnivorous Construct. Stalker's Webbing shoots webs at random locations, avoid the impact and stay out of the webs left behind, or you're trapped and rooted, taking damage every couple of seconds. During Carnivorous Construct, Olgrax targets a player. The targeted player needs to move away from the boss, and the rest of the raid stacks in the marked area. Olgrax does a smash and damage is split evenly between all players, and all players are bound to Olgrax. All bound players are pulled toward Olgrax, causing raid-wide damage every second. The strength of the pull is reduced by each player that is bound, so this is another reason to stack all players. Venomous Lash deals raid-wide damage and targets several players with digestive acid, dealing damage over time and damage when the acid expires, so make sure to keep these players topped off. Targeted players are marked with a green circle, which everyone else will want to avoid. Take the green circles to the stalker's netting areas to dissolve any webs left behind. During Hulking Crash, Olgrax leaps to a marked location and smashes the ground. Damage is determined by how close you are to the landing spot, so get as far away as possible while leaving room for the pushback so you do not get pushed off the platform. So basically, move out of the area, or it's a quick death. For tanks, Olgrax casts Brutal Crush, applying 20 stacks of Tenderized, reducing healing taken by 10% for every stack. You lose one stack each second and will be immune to healing for a period of time, so tanks will want to swap after each cast. When the boss reaches zero energy, he casts Chittering Swarm, placing cocoons all around the platform, and we enter Phase 2. During Phase 2, Olgrax enters into the Swallowing Darkness and does four Juggernaut charges. Two portals will open, and Olgrax emerges from one portal, charging in a straight line to the other portal. Small spheres moving across the platform show the direction and placement of the charge. So stay out of the charge area, or it's a sudden death. Ravenous Spawn will also spawn from the cocoons circling the platform during each Juggernaut charge. Gather these together, crowd control, and burn them down as quickly as possible. Ravenous Spawn bite at players, debuffing them with Disembowel, inflicting initial damage and damage over time that stacks for every bite. So if not controlled, this can easily lead to several dead players. After the final Juggernaut charge, Olgrax emerges from the darkness and all players need to avoid the area, or again, experience a quick death. The final major ability in Phase 2 is Hungering Bellows, and you need to satiate Olgrax's hunger before he casts this multiple times. Grab the Chunky Viscera dropped from the defeated Ravenous Spawn and use your action button to feed him. Everyone should be focused on this as the boss takes 99% less damage during this time. Each cast of Hungering Bellows does raid-wide damage and damage over time, and each time this is cast, he gets a stack of Insatiable Hunger, increasing his physical damage done by 10% for 20 seconds. After taking care of his hunger, we move back into Phase 1 and start it all over again. For Heroic, it's the same fight, just with the boss doing more damage. No new mechanics here. So there you have it. As we would expect, Olgrax's mechanics are pretty straightforward, as we have the standard dodge, soak, and pull mechanics. As long as you feed him in a timely manner, this should be a pretty quick fight. As always, let us know your thoughts down below in the comments, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you always know what we're up to next. And everyone, have a great day.